This weather came a little bit sooner because Bogus Basin is closed now. An annual tradition, though, in a rite of passage, hundreds of people waited for hours to get a crack at the Bogus Basin pond skim. That's where skiers and snowboarders try to glide across a pool of ice cold water. And Andrew, this is, of course, without trying to fall into that ice cold water. You were up there for that annual tradition. What was it like? Well, the turnout was really good. I heard the public address announcer say it was the largest crowd ever for the Bogus Pond Skim, and Bogus Basin says that they had to cut off signups because so many people showed up and signed up. It's a welcome problem by Bogus Basin as this event took a two-year pause through the pandemic. Almost making it. He's gonna when Bogus Basin well. skiers and boarders hit their last few runs of the season, they have a decision to make. <laughs> to Pond Skim or not to Pond Skim. The challenge is to get across the pond without getting wet. Some say it's easier said than done. A lot of people are getting wet. The event took a two year pause through the pandemic. It's now back in full force. Bogus Basin General Manager Brad Wilson says more than 250 people signed up to test their luck. And it's a test the man in charge is in no hurry to take. You know, I've put these on for over 30 years. I've never done it before. <laughs> Wilson says this is the largest pond skim turnout since Boga started the tradition six years ago. And with a line so long, most of them had to wait. Yeah, probably like a couple hours. But not everyone got held up. For a last day, couldn't be a better last day. In fact, Kevin Mangle and Michael Weinkip hardly waited in the line, despite skiing in line. We got lucky and got in line pretty early, and uh, we made it across. <laughs> yes. We, as in both of them, together at the same time. I mean, quite frankly, we're the best tandem skiers on the mountain. We can be clear and concise. It's all and, about and points with his arms where we want to go. And then we just kind of move together. They're a spectacle, but hardly an outlier among the crowd. But no matter what they wear. I mean, you got the ladybug costume on. That's a nice sweater, though. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Merry Christmas. They all subscribe to the same strategy. Just lean back, go fast, have a good time. The annual tradition makes its return. Saying farewell to another bogus base in ski season. We've never seen this many people register for this, so uh, we might have to limit next year and make sure we can take care of everybody. Bogus says unless they get dumped with some natural snow anytime soon, they're fairly certain today marks the end of the season. Their general manager, Brad Wilson, there at the end says Bogus opens back up at the end of May on Memorial Day. That's when they gear up for their summer activities. That includes things like mountain biking. Yeah, it is a year round destination. Now, Andrew, question I have for you is, did you try it? <laughs> no, I didn't. I should have. I know you're a big skier. I know you probably would have. I'm not. Uh, I'm not risky enough for that. My I board's would... my board's back in Spokane. Oh, I don't yeah. even have it here. Yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. I love the costumes. It looked like a beautiful bluebird day. And you said all of that snow there at the base, you could see how dry it was. It was all man-made. Yeah, I said from December, I believe. So it's it's all old snow that they made a long time ago. Man. All right, Andrew, that was a fun assignment for you today. We'll see you later.